Cups, what's brewing? Welcome back to the channel. Lovely to see you again. It's been a busy week, but we have made it to the weekend and that means I can catch up with our favorite YouTuber. I dipped in and out very briefly with her content this week because frankly, there was a lot of it, but there didn't seem to be much in it. We had like foodie trying various local fruits. We had uh, Sala walking around. There were a couple of lives, there didn't seem to be any major talking points in them, and there's been a lot of eating videos. Now, recently, uh, Chantelle did say that she was thinking of going back to the stuff she liked to do. She had mentioned time warps. I think this is an indication. I think it's one of those things where, okay, what classically worked for my channel? Now, whether it works again or not is based on a lot of variables. She's not where she was before. She doesn't have the same reputation she had before. And her audience has changed with her. So how well she's going to be able to sell this idea of going back, even if she can maintain it without breaking character, is questionable. It's certainly not guaranteed. But she tries this every so often in attempts to kind of cleanse her channel from things she doesn't want on there. I don't know how successful this is going to be. But this did used to pull in some views for her, if there is still an audience for that. I'm a little surprised that our modest Miriam would go for all the eating noises that she went for, because they always did have sexual connotations when it came to how she was doing her mukbangs and how she was presenting them. I would have thought that was beneath her new morality. But I'm sure she would blame the new microphone that she's taken the muffler off of so that you can hear it more clearly. Now, during this week, there was, I believe it was a community post, um, but there was a question of, hey, what kind of content do you guys want to see? And it seemed to indicate that she was perhaps going back to Kuwait soon. We haven't had other indicators of that yet, but they've been there quite a while. Long enough that, as I said last time, I feel like they may have extended their trip and they didn't intend to be there for that long. You can definitely do longer trips to Thailand, but they didn't seem to arrive prepared in terms of clothing. They seem to have done most of the visits they wanted to do with some vlogs of them. And right now she just seems to be going back into her old routines that we saw in Kuwait and saw in Canada, where she's just kind of staying in the hotel whenever possible and ordering in. Now it might be she intended to do that from the start and that's just where we are. She might just have planned this length of trip and now be tired of it. But I don't know, it's all suspicion, it's all speculation, but I feel like something happened there and maybe they are waiting for paperwork, maybe they did get married. It's all maybes, we don't have confirmation. But as I've said before, if they do end up legally married, at some point she's going to flash her ID to us or her certificate or whatever. But for today, we have her Canadian Putin in Bangkok, Thailand. Putin, Putin, I will switch back and forth and I will probably be wrong on both. Given that there weren't that many talking points in the content this week, I've decided just to do a straight react and it will probably be a short video. But let's get into it. Hello, sweet beauties. <laughs> Hi, did you know you could... I had forgotten that she keeps putting these cameo ads in. I wonder how she's doing on cameo now. Have they dropped off and that's why she keeps advertising it? Or does she just need the extra minutes? She, her video is 10 minutes, 37 seconds this time. So I feel like she could have done without the ad. Hello. Oh. Yes, I'm wearing this to go to the Canadian restaurant. This is very much a look. I, I get the... We do sometimes buy silly tourist things when we go abroad and it's fun and you wear them. But on one hand, I'm just like, you must know what you look like. And on the other, I'm just saying, well, maybe she did do it for a few days and this is a clip from earlier. You don't really know with her pre-recorded stuff when it was recorded, particularly as she seems to have the same five outfits right now that she's just washing and wearing again. So this literally could have been filmed at any point. But the filter is going strong today because look how smooth her skin looks. I'm going to get a coffee before the ride. It's about a 20, 25 minute ride. So I need coffee. It's like I'm meant to be that age. I need coffee every morning. I would be the last to throw stones at people who need coffee every day because my dudes. If I didn't have coffee, I don't know how I would survive my life. But does she need coffee for a 20 minute car journey that she's not even driving? 
She could just be tired. It's fine. Enjoy your coffee if you like it. It's not a problem. And given that she usually has that horrible three in one stuff, like definitely the, any other actual brewed coffee would be better than that. But I need like a fancy coffee today, not 7 Eleven. No offense. That's really good. They're three in one, but. I doubt 7 Eleven coffee is that good with a three in one. Go get your fancy coffee. Here we go. Let's go get a cappuccino. I'm gonna get a cappuccino hot one. Such a nice little place. Well, we're about to get the music, the uh, musical tour. I do like that. That's a cute look. I'm, I'm very into that. I know it's, it's classic coffee. It's not that special, but I like it. It's pretty. If I could be bothered, I would go through all this B-roll and just count down how much of it there was compared to actual content. The clown music has started. So all of you who like to tell me I'm mean in the comments like you don't know what you're signing up for, know that she's the one who highlights this before us. Oh shit, I thought that motorbike was going to go straight into her. Oh my god, be careful. Go, you made it. So this looks like a little bit of a dive here, but sometimes places that don't look that good can have fantastic food, so we'll see how this goes. Also, I was gonna say something about her driving 25 minutes to get to this place, but as somebody who lives abroad a lot of the time, sometimes you just want the thing you want. So I don't even blame her for this really, because if there's a certain thing that's really hard to find, my friend and I, when I lived in Japan, which was like the late 2000s, right? We used to, every couple of months, we would just have to uh, do the train trip up to Nagoya. Now it was about an hour away by train. We definitely could have done it more um, regularly and we did for certain things. So every couple of months we would take a trip to Nagoya and we would, um, go to the international bookstore so we could get English books. We would go to, there was an, like a Western chain of some kind. I think there was an outback near the, uh, near the bookstore. And then we would just do a little bit of shopping and just get our fix of all the international stuff we wanted because Nagoya was the closest like big city we had. We did go through Yokaichi. They had a nice shopping area in the underground for the, uh, for the train, and used to get those little mochi um, balls that are available everywhere now, but um, weren't as available before. You used to have to go out to get them because you got to remember this was. God, I feel odd. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to do the thing. Is the point I'm making, and you just get that fix. So I don't blame her for it, but I, I'd have my doubts about this place. Canadian cuisine. They got a fair selection then. Oh, but some of it's just burgers, you can see there. Thai poutine. See, that's what I'd be interested in. If I if she wants poutine, okay, I've said poutine now. I don't know which one's right. These look interesting, but I'd be interested to know what's the Thai poutine. Here's the true fusion here. Let's try it. Oh, eggplant salad sounds nice. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I guess these are all notes from... So beside the hockey sticks here, they have a note <laughs> in French with some Quebec lingo. So apparently, somebody on Twitter said that one of these notes actually tells you that the sauce on the poutine is awful. Um, I, I don't read French, so I'm not entirely sure. But if it's in French, that would be quite funny because you'd think Foodie would be able to read it and wouldn't show it or would point out that she'd showed it in a subtitle so to be subtle for the owners. But I find it funny that now that they're going on to review it and tell you how great it's going to be. This puts it in Bangkok, okay. All right. People from all over Canada leaving notes on the wall. Montreal Canadians, are you guys fans? I'm sure you guys the menu outside, but uh, 
yeah, we're gonna get some halal option here. I'm not gonna lie, I could do with some pulled pork right now. I am, I'm missing pork quite a lot recently. Um, I used to, when, now that the weather is releasing slightly, it's still quite humid here actually, it's quite late in the day for the humidity we've got at the moment. But mentally, I'm in autumn, and I want it to be autumn. I want it to be autumn more than it is, and it's making me want to cook, like, stews and, and, and braise things and just all the slow, long cooking you get in the winter. So, probably the classic puts in with vegetarian gravy. All right, guys, so this is my first time trying Canadian potin, so wish me good luck. I'm so excited. He's smiling. He doesn't seem massively excited. Although he had mentioned, I think, that he wanted to try it before. Or maybe did Foodie mention that she wanted to make it for him before, maybe? I don't know. I can't wait. <laughs> Lemon iced tea. Uh -huh. Bismillah. Oh, did you hear about... There's a woman, this comes through my Twitter, because it was the phrase Bismillah. She said Bismillah before eating something port-based, and now she has to do two years in jail. I think it's in, like, Indonesia or somewhere. And I'm excited to see ketchup, because... Because? In my opinion, you have to put ketchup on a putin. It's the true Canadian way, just like you have to put ketchup on crap dinner. But that's just me. Mm. In this case, it is just her, but... I won't, I won't knock it till I've tried it, which I will probably never do. Fight me in the comments or whatever. Refreshing. Okay. Is that another watermelon juice? Mm. So good. Actually, so fresh. She's been teaching him the lingo. Is that watermelon juice again? Because I feel like that's all he drinks. Like, how many times can you drink one and be surprised by how refreshing it is? I like it. See? He, okay, he likes that. Spoiler alert. Where's he cooking? Oh, I'm so excited. These are very interesting placemats. Why? Okay, here's my issue here. I know that's how it's supposed to look, yeah? And I'm British. I can appreciate a plate of chips with gravy. I can do that. I'm not, I'm not too snobbish for this dish, right? When I visited a long, long time ago, when I was a teenager, I had a friend who lived in New Brunswick and I went and visited her. And uh, we had put in what I was there. So I know this is how it's supposed to look and it doesn't mean it tastes bad and it's, it's absolutely fine. If you like it, it's gonna be exactly what you want. But I just find through this whole video that this looks so soggy. You know, like the gravy is very thick, which I think is better than watery in this case, but I don't know, it doesn't look appetizing. And that doesn't mean it tastes bad, but I wouldn't look at that and go, yum. <laughs> smell if it smells like greasy fries and gravy i i don't see how but we'll, we'll see he doesn't you know he said he liked the watermelon i believe that more than i believe this and there's a reason for it coming up extra cheese thank you <laughs> i'm so excited good school gravy i love it thank you Salah's so gonna try to put in for the first time in his life. Let's dig in, guys. Bismillah. There it goes. That there was a weird cut, all right? If you were showing you trying Putin for the first time, why would you then cut it before he'd reacted? Was it a mistake in the editing on her part? Did they just realize, okay, there's no cheese on this bite, so we want to show the whole thing? In which case, take it out of the original edit. Yes, you've still got a cut, but at least then we've only got one. I do not trust his reaction. I don't think he likes this at all. I mean, look at the freeze frame. Does he look impressed? No. Like, he can deal with it. It's not revolting, but he is not as impressed with it as I think she wants him to be. Look 
to that. Absolutely not. I do not believe you, sir. Really? Slay, slay. Slay, slay. Mm-mm. No. If you're saying he's slightly wooden because he um, has to really think about his English, which is totally fine, but he's there going, slay. I don't believe you. You're feeding him lines. I love it. Hi. Quickly cut away before he has to explain that more. This dog is so cute. <laughs> hi. He's got a harness. Who's oh, is he? Hi. Who are you? If he's got a harness, who does he belong to? Why have you let him off the leash? He's obviously very friendly, but... Hi. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> hi. Hi. Your dog. Is this their dog? Oh, is this your dog? Oh, is this your dog? Oh, sorry. So she just let a dog into the restaurant. <laughs> I mean, the person who's got him off harness should, you know, be keeping an eye on him. But what are you doing, man? Why are you letting random animals into this food place? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try the now. <laughs> the woman in the background is just like. <laughs> extra cheese, is... of course. Why are you putting extra cheese on before you've tried it? I know that it's cheese, she's gonna love it, but. It tastes like a cheese curd, actually. <laughs> the cheese is. tastes like a cheese curd. So the cheese tastes like cheese? Okay, great, thank you. Crazy. Salad in the middle like we believe it. Although, Salah might be eating that at that point. All right, ketchup. Again, before trying. Ketchup. It's like people who salt their food before they try it. Let's try this. It's so soggy. Was this after the dog incident? Has it been sitting in the gravy? Is that why? Yeah. She's gonna love it. Yeah. Wow. It tastes so good. I mean, I don't think it tastes bad because I think that kind of experience when you're eating it is hard to replicate so if that's what you're looking for this is going to be great but i don't mm, no authentic water she's so happy it's so yummy she's literally closing her eyes you're in public man I also got a salad just to try to be a bit healthier. The salad remains untouched. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't see it. I understand chips and gravy, but you want, you want the chips to be a little bit crispy at the very least, surely. I'm uncomfortable. I need an adult. I'm not okay. I'm feeling a little bit stranger danger. Wow. I've been craving poutine so bad. You don't know how much you miss poutine if you're from Canada until you're gone from it for like almost a year. And that's the one thing I can understand because you could um, substitute any food there from any culture and be like, oh, I haven't had this in so long. I miss it. I get that. But this... Mmm, no thank you. Cheesy. I think it's a very... I think it's a very particular craving. Let's put it that way. Not to insult any Canadians out there. Mm. No. He does not like this. Here, let's use all the cheese. Hey, I tried my best to contain myself. How is... Oh, wow. That is a freeze frame. My apologies. Um, is this you containing yourself? Is this, is this what this is? 
Because this is a look, friend. Like, dude, you're in public. You can take smaller bites and not be covered. You're, I realize that you're trying to mukbang to get the feeders back, but you are in public right now. Wipe your mouth. Take a slightly smaller bite. Remember that people can see you. See that? That fit in your mouth. You were fine. That's okay. But do you need this explained to you? You're nearly 40. What? What is that motion? I realised she was trying to dance there, but that's not what that looked like. <laughs> I don't want to see Sala's plate and see if he finished it because for someone who claims he likes it we didn't see much of a shot of his food after. The fries are Quebec style, Quebecois style puts in What's very that? reminiscent to something I would eat at orange juleps or... Okay but what, what makes it Quebecois? What about them is particular to it? I'd like to know. Like that would actually be an interesting point if you said to me Oh, so for example, in the UK, fish and chips, usually you get some, because they're in a big paper bag, they're not that crispy, but there's something about that that's really hard to replicate elsewhere. Like a British plate of fish and chips is very particular. And you can serve fish and you can serve chips in other scenarios and they don't quite taste the same as if they come from a chippy in England. So if there was something about the fries in Quebec that had a particular sense to them, I'd actually be interested to know, but I don't think she's going to explain that. French fried truck, downtown Montreal or something like that. You know, How? squeaky cheese. Not uh, all poutine is meant to have squeaky cheese, isn't it? Um, delicious gravy and fries that are like crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. They are not crispy. Don't even with me. They are bent. I can see how soggy they are. And just like, you know what fries are fried a certain way? They're like a little bit sweet. Oh, they're so good. Oh, she just dropped that straight down her front. I'm not going to go back, but when she dropped that there, did it not look like she was about to dive in with a fork? <laughs> straight down to her lap. I will make a puts in and have Salah compare it. <laughs> I don't think Salah wants this one, let alone whatever one she makes. <laughs> Thumbs up! I'm definitely not showing you my plate! owners are not there and that they're alone in the restaurant again what a coincidence but i get that she makes her money doing this right or being a mess but before she was a mess making her money doing this before she was a different kind of mess making her money do this that's in the privacy of her own home doesn't she get a little bit embarrassed doing it in public i mean there's no one there i suppose except for sala who seems perfectly happy to be part of this but the moans in public <laughs> Like, someone walks through the door right now, Guys, she's gonna die. I would give this puts in, honestly, 10 out of 10. It's so delicious. I feel like my and Foodie's uh, rubric for scoring food might be slightly different. And it, the atmosphere is very cool. Canadian, you know, it's, it's home away from home a little bit. I really like it here. God, I feel a bit bad because the restaurant, the poor restaurant, <laughs> doesn't know what it's just let itself in for. And it might have really good put in. It might do. And uh, I just can't trust Foodie's judgment on it. Salad is still there. Oh no, let's take a bite. There you go. Look, proof. Just got a little bit of a salad here. There you go. You've had a vegetable done. Mm. Balanced. Very fresh tasting. That salad has been sitting there. It's clearly swimming and dressing. Again, I, it is Chantal, so I am nitpicking. Of course, I'm nitpicking. But don't you tell me this is fresh. 
Light from the glut. All right, we're gonna finish eating. See you in the next clip. If you ever wonder where your Canadian tire money ended up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was filling. Now we're gonna go for a walk now and try to do something else. So check out our couples channel. I thought she said she didn't like to eat big meals before she did things because they tired her out. And so she would eat lightly and then she'd eat after in the night. We're not doing that anymore? No? Okay. Hello, I'm Chantal. All links are in the description for some more activities. Hang so, on. yeah. What's the rest Thanks of the 40 watching, seconds? Guys. Oh, it's going to be B roll. I'm guessing that was Foodie and not Salah holding the camera to go up those stairs because you can see where she's like wobbling to stop to get up. But she climbed the stairs, so I guess good for her. So what we need to see now is the next video where she's in that outfit. That's how we'll know. And those glasses. Oh, imagine you're in Thailand and this couple comes down the street. You're scared you're going to be abducted to join the hat club. Okay then, and there we are. I'm guessing with the combination of the uh, ad in the front and the B-roll in the back that they just got home and realised that we don't have eight minutes of footage for this. Which to me would be an indicator of, well, okay, put the meal, cut it down to just the essentials of the meal and then make it part of a larger vlog but she wants as much content as she can because i'm guessing that they've been there a bit longer than they expected and for all her views are down she will get a number of views for every video she puts in so separating it makes sense financially but that's not really counting the cost on the other side of things where by watering down her content like this people just get bored faster so if she's trying to build a new audience or bring back her old audience then this is just going to make it harder because there's very little in the videos. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see if she turns up in Kuwait anytime soon. I feel like it might be coming and we'll have to see what she puts out next. So thank you very much for being here. I am going to edit this down. Uh, my cleaner is coming, so it might not actually be up till later. I woke up really early this morning, about 7.30. I was like, excuse you. But I went to bed really early though, so it's about 11.30 now. My cleaner's coming at one. This might not be up for a few hours. You probably don't care. You'll see it when you see it. <laughs> Speaking of, I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.